The pandemic closed the curtain on The Wizard of Oz last year. Children were supposed to perform when St. Louis City announced stay-at-home orders. This year, they are ready to take that stage back, and they're going to use a little advanced technology. Let's bring in Libby Pedersen. She is executive director of the Ignite Theater Company. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Kim. You all are so busy this season. I just looked at that list of stuff. But, but let's just start with Wizard of Oz. What will be different about this production? Well, we're certainly not in a theater. We're not able to welcome back our full audiences, but we were able to welcome back about 70% of our original cast. And it looks a little different, but we were able to film everyone, pre-record all their voices, and then do the actual filming with all of our amazing young performers masked. It seems like you all had a live theater company and all of a sudden you had to go into movie production, um, but you pivoted, you pivoted well. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the virtual cabaret for this weekend? Absolutely. We're so excited to have our Ignite Elite performance team working really hard over the last 10 weeks on audition prep and confidence. And this weekend we will do Broadway magic celebrating 25 years of Disney magic on the Great White Way. Each of them selected a song and they sung it not live, pre-recorded, but they each did a great job and we're really excited for audience to see that. And it's free all weekend. And I'm sure that the kids were definitely excited to record those songs. They love Disney movies. You do have a lot planned for the summer. How will you have the bonfire camps safely? So we have a really, really great plan. Um, we are Missouri Art Safe certified. We have come up with a phenomenal COVID plan that as many other companies has uh, plans A through Z pretty much. Um, all of our camps are done with smaller groups, masked, socially distanced, and then it's a hybrid performance model of both filming and welcoming very small audience members in to see these productions. And you're also one of many organizations participating in Give STL Day. Tell us what Ignite will do with any of those funds that you raise. Well, it's such a great time for, for Give STL Day. We're highlighting the two things we love most, our Sparks, which is what we call our performers in our city. And all of that goes to helping ensure that there'll be stages beyond the pandemic and to helping support our mission of creating great people first and great performers second. Well, you're definitely doing that. Looks like you're also producing some great filmmakers, too, in this process. We will have a link to all of these programs. Again, very busy at Ignite Theater. Just visit Fox2Now.com. Libby Pedersen, Executive Director, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Kim.